Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about model stacking. So stacking is nothing but uh, as I have a data set which I am using for training. Right? So I can build multiple algorithms. So how do I combine output of uh, all these multiple models that we will do through stacking. So why do we need stacking is because uh, each of these models are able to capture patterns of a particular sort. Right? So not every model will work on every kind of data. So that's the reason we want to try multiple modeling techniques and uh, at the end we want the technique to combine all of them that's it uh, about stacking on an intuition level we understood what stacking is but how can i do it okay. let's say i have some training data on which i built one reno forest model and it gave me 99 percent auc then i built one svm model that gave me 78% AUC, then I built GBM, which gave me let's say 77% AUC. Now, essentially, what is stacking is using these predictions as my independent variables. Can I predict the same Y? Right? But if we see the problem with this current stats, is that uh, for this new model, these guys are nothing but my independent variables right so for this model the predictions from rf are ground truth right because it is correctly capturing the change between y and the remaining axis but you know by default that this is not a good model this is a overfitted model which is understood patterns from training data but it won't work pretty well on my test or unseen data so we don't want this right so what can i do in this case so my idea is that uh, let's say i train my models on some data set d1 okay and uh, i make predictions on some unseen data d2 I have uh, let's say these three predictions. Now I can use these three predictions and build a new model. Right? This is a one way to do things, but uh, typically you know that uh, you won't have that much amount of data as you can build two set of models. Right? So this is not practical. So what can we do? turns out we can use the same concept as in cross validation so cross validation is nothing but let's say I have this data I divide it in five equal parts so I can train my model on these four parts and I can check performance on the left out part similarly I can build model on these four parts and check performance on this left out sample so this is the idea behind cross validation but how do we use it for stacking so what we can do is so let's say we divide it in multiple steps okay so step one we train our models on entire training data let's call them full model 1 full model 2 full model 3 okay so i also have a hyperparameter on this guy the best hyperparameters on this guy and uh, best hyperparameter for that model right so this is my final model set which I have built on training data. 
right so what we will do in step two is i will divide my training data into five parts let's say this is my training data i divide it in five equal parts the idea is to get these three predictions on some kind of unseen data so that i can build a second layer of model on this right so essentially what we will do is let's say i use these four samples and uh, build my model again using the same hyperparameters which we got for overall data right so i have some model m1 that's a temporary model m1 using these four parts and predict on fifth part using this so i can get unseen predictions on fifth part using this cross validation technique right similarly i can build model 2 get predictions build model 3 and get prediction now i can build my temporary model on these four parts predict on this left out sample and so on right in this way i can get predictions wow. for all the samples in my training data and uh, which are unseen for that particular whole as well so we have achieved what we wanted we wanted this theory prediction on an unseen data which we have gotten through this cross validation step so the point which you have to remember is that uh, you have to use the same set of hyperparameter which you have gotten from your entire training data okay so we have completed step two let's call this uh, layer one of models okay let's see what do we do next so in step three what we will do is we will use this m1 m2 m3 and build a new model so this can be any model of your choice it can be logistic svm gvm etc based on your uh, problem right if it's a classification you can use this if it's a regression problem you can use other techniques right so step three we are getting a new model on this data which we receive through cross validation k fold samples right so we will build a layer 2 model on top of this so our training part has been done now let's see how do we do it on a new observation which comes for a prediction right so firstly i have to use fm1 fm2 fm3 which are the models which i trained on entire training data so this step is just used for training purposes once my layer 2 model has been built we don't use any of these models okay so for the new observation i will get m1 m2 m3 from the models which i trained on entire training data so my layer 1 predictions are done now i will pass m1 m2 m3 to my layer 2 model and i'll get my final predictions this is the idea behind stacking it's pretty simple but very powerful so i suggest you use it in your projects or work you are doing it should increase your predictions a bit so thanks for today we'll see you in the next tutorial